But uh, if it not for this one thing, he would be a great tank, perfectly viable tank. And he will get that one thing in the future. Awesome. And if you're curious, buy the skin. That's the most efficient thing. If you're leveling him, if you're not leveling him, then buying Lamort's maps and the Ruler's Globus, I believe, are the most efficient items in the shop. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the new tank, Julius, and where I think he's good and where I think he's bad. And uh, just to get it out of the way, the spoiler alert, I think anytime you're going up against any Nebula boosted physical attacking heroes like a Nebula Kark or a Nebula Dante, uh, I don't think he has enough stats yet to really survive. Uh, even with some of the shield tech that you throw in here. Kark isn't as bad as uh, Nebula boosted Dante. Uh, Dante's pressure is just, you know, it's just too much. But uh, if we were to use a team like this, we'll do, uh, we'll do max testing. And we're going to throw on Oliver, Fenris, Kane, uh, Albus, and uh, just for the fun of it, Axel. Maybe not, maybe not the right pets to use every time, but it's a pretty common choice. So we can use like a team like this uh, will probably be fine. In fact, I think that this is one of the better teams for Julius right now. Julius, Samira, Nebula, uh, Peppy, and Jet. Even though there's not a lot of critical hit heroes in here that uh, could take advantage of Julius's critical hit artifacts, I think that this is a, you know, a fine comp with all the shields that are getting thrown around and the, you know, the, the things that Amira brings to the team to protect against certain allies. This being a little on the slower side is, uh, is pretty good. We'll just speed it up here. Um, looks like it's going to end up being a non-issue. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, all right. So maybe it's just Nebula Boosted Dante that we have trouble with. And just to show you kind of what I'm talking about, let's see, uh, completes. It's back out of here. Uh, we did some testing during my live stream against, uh, against the team. This guy right here, Nebula Boosted Dante with Orion, Helios, Martha. Not a very traditional Nebula Boosted Dante team, for sure, but we struggled a lot against it. We had some wins, but they were super inconsistent. We tried this, and then we would try it again and then lose. Uh, you know, we won a couple. Um, this was just using an example of other teams that could do well against this line. You know, Astaroth tanked him just fine. And uh, Aurora tanked him, uh, Nebula Boosted Dante, just fine. But uh, there was a lot of issues. You know, we tried this. This was a, a, a tricky lineup that somebody in the live stream brought in. Tristan with uh, Isaac and uh, Yasmin, right? It worked, oddly enough, against the Helios there. But then, you know, whenever we try to get it consistently, uh, tried again, we couldn't, we just couldn't do it consistently. So Nebula Busa Dante is where it's going to struggle. But we did have a lot of success in just about every other team. So let's try another team comp here. Just, um, you know, really anything else would work. Uh, struggles against Iris, of course, a lot of teams really struggle against, I'm sorry, a lot of tanks really struggle against Iris, so we'll do, uh, since this is defense, we'll use Oliver, actually, we'll, uh, we'll do Kane here to put Oliver on there, again, maybe not the best choice for pets, and we'll leave that one blank, okay, so, in a situation like this, this team isn't gonna work because it doesn't put enough pressure on that enemy Iris, um, if you can play this fight in manual mode, and wait to use Julius's shield until after Iris throws up her uh, uh, her split soul. Then you should be okay. Although you know we seem to be handling this team pretty well right here. Okay, there you go. Mm, there you go. Just kind of show it off a little bit. Amira, absolute superstar here. The trick is to kill uh, Iris before she kills your tank. By the way, and a Nebula boosted uh, Amira, uh, always a good, always a fun thing to see entire enemy lines blow up. Let's take a look at another team. This, uh, the twins, just use Isaac. You don't need, we don't even need to uh, test that. Uh, any, any team with Celeste, the twins, and Sebastian, just use, like, for real, just use Isaac, and you're going to be fine. <laughs> Doesn't matter what your tank choice is. Uh, let's try, I don't know, let's try this one right here. This is a, uh, an interesting choice. Let's do Max. And I'm doing Max testing, by the way. I have my uh, uh, Ascension Tree stats on screen if you wanted to know where my tree of wisdom levels are we're going to use oliver and fenris uh, albus maybe you should use oliver here but that's okay um merlin and axel i you know i don't know you can swap a couple of these around maybe put biscuit here and oliver here but since my team doesn't really target the middle line with physical damage the team pet on sebastian be it uh albus or um or Oliver isn't going to really matter too much, so we'll just leave Oliver on the on the tank there. And uh, the team pet looks like they had team pet in as Oliver, so we'll just leave that as is. 
Uh, yeah, and we'll just keep trying. We'll just keep trying this team. This isn't going to be the end all be all attacking team. All right. And, you know, we're, we're choosing some very specific use cases. Uh, what I like about this defending team having Helios is it's a great opportunity to counter uh, the critical hit team, critical hit team of uh, Julius and Jet, even though they both have buffs to the team's critical hit, it didn't seem to matter too much. Trying out maybe a, uh, maybe we can find a Rufus Dante comp someplace in here. All right, so here's one of the more common defensive lines that you're gonna see a lot of. Uh, Rufus, Arachne, Dante, Sebastian, Martha. Um, that was a uh, squirrely one. Very, uh, very strong player. And, you know, we beat it with this same line, just kind of showing it off here. Let's, uh, Let's show it here. Uh, if you see this line, Rufus, Arachne, Dante, then you know you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine if you use a team like this. I think that uh, Amira is a little underestimated, and I think uh, potentially leveling Peppy and Jet is the kinds of supports that you would need for a tank like Julius. You know, I always say that every tank can be good uh, if they have the right heroes around them. The same can be said for any DPS and any healer and any support character. If you have the right heroes that goes with them, then you're going to be you're going to be just fine. Is Jet and Peppy and Amira the most efficient heroes to level? Uh, I don't know. They're pretty effective in a lot of different instances. Obviously, with this line, they're pretty strong. You saw me beat, you know, a Kark team. You saw me beat a, uh, here's a Rufus Arachne Dante line. We were struggling versus that Nebula, uh, Nebula Dante team. So I think that, you know, again, that's the, that's the one shortcoming. That's the one downside of Julius right now is uh, teams that put out a lot of physical damage pressure uh, early, early on in the fight. Dante really is a great example. I guess Kark is a little uh, on the slower side. Maybe Ishmael. There's problems with Ishmael teams as well, I'm sure. Nebula boosted Ishmael or Fafnir boosted Ishmael, you know, stuff like that. Then, uh, then yeah, you're going to struggle with uh, with Julius. But, you know, right now, Astaroth can tank those teams pretty well. Aurora, if she dodges, can tank those, tank, uh, tank those teams pretty well. We already know that Rufus has such high health and stats. And that's really what it comes down to is once Julius gets a health or armor skin or both, then you're going to be okay against those Nebula Dante lines, Nebula Ishmael lines. But really, until then you might struggle a little bit so be mindful of that uh just try get in there and try it out just go into the clash of worlds if you didn't know about this already go into your clash of worlds fight and then you know pick pick uh pick the citadel pick the hero's bridge uh or pick the mage academy or the barracks the places that don't have the buffs because the places that do have the buffs like um the foundry the foundry is going to be stuffed full of multi-tank teams right Okay, so I only have one good example of a multi-tank team here. Uh, everything else is a, is a traditional looking standardized team. And just try it out. So you'll just pick one, you click on the combat training icon right here, switch this to max, and that'll give you access to everything, right? And then, uh, you know, remove the buff if you want, but the buff tends to skew the defending team that's there. And then just go in here and throw the defending pets on that you think might be the, the correct pets, and then give it a try, Attack, a simple attack team and uh, try out different team, uh, different lines against it. And that's going to be the best way to do max testing right now is, is to try the Clash of Worlds teams instead of the server teams because people on the server kind of insulated. They don't think anybody uses anything aside from what they've got. So there you go. This uh, this good team is, is beat by that uh, uh, area of effect physical attacking team. Too much magic damage versus that Isaac, obviously a problem. Uh, Helios is a good counter to my critical hit lines also and just too much damage. So I'd, I'd, I'd tweak the attacking team a little bit for that one, but there you go. So uh, I would... Consider leveling him if you like Julius a lot, but uh, if it not for this one thing He would be a great tank perfectly viable tank and he will get that one thing in the future on screen now is the uh, the walkthrough for the event and If you're curious buy the skin That's the most efficient thing if you're leveling him if you're not leveling him then buying Lamort's maps and the rulers globus I believe are the most efficient items in the shop. Don't forget that we live stream schedules on screen now. I love you all good luck in Dominion